Final fight of the evening. Ian Cox from Team Wallhead in the red corner and Paul Ramos from Dragons Elite in the blue corner. This is a pro MMA fight over three five minute rounds. Nice touch of gloves and we're ready to go. We've seen Ian Cox before, He's a good all round fighter. Yeah, very improved striking. Uh, from a judo background as well, he's got good clinch, good striking. Paul Ramos letting some good strikes go on, on the inside there. Cox looking strong, working in very controlled. Oh, he's caught him in the rubber and right there. Cox wearing the black anklets with the uh, Union Jack on the shorts. But Ramos has stood southpaw, chin a little high. Be interesting if any like overhand shots can catch him with his head up a little. Yeah, both fighters are feeling each other out at the moment. <laughs> Good right hand from Cox. Oh, it oh, takes and a got, the left hand in return. Well. A shook there, clearly shook. Straight to the clinch, back to what he knows. That was good, good defence in the clinch there from uh, from Ramos. Yeah, Cox obviously from a judo background. This is best position. Yeah, it looked straight for um, switching the hip for a throw, but Ramos defended well. Got the underhooks. Good control, I think uh, he's definitely got some skill in the clinch himself. Good nice, shot, nice shot, shot, shot explosive ribs. shot ribs, uh, the, um, from Cox. Yeah, very good. Very explosive with the shot punches. Oh, oh, oh poor no. Ramos went for the throw. <laughs> he almost went for the oh. uh, 360 armbar. Yeah, it moved really well around him uh, when it hit the ground. A little mouse under the eye of Ramos there as well. I think yeah, he's took a couple of shots. Is it a slight cut or is it the, uh, the nose of Ramos? There's a bit of blood there anyway. Yeah, I think we've got a bit of a, a bleedy mouth maybe. Yeah. A, a lumpy eye. Now he needs to be bridging here because his, uh, Ian Cox has got a very strong top position. It's quality control on the ground so far. Yeah. You need to be a, see a bit more from Ramos of actually um, wrestling style bridging escapes. I don't think he's going to shrimp his way out. Uh, Cox avoiding the legs. Oh, as I say, that he's uh, he's using interesting uh, uses hand to get trapped himself. Though. Oh dear. It's not going to be good if uh, Cox sits up for the ground and pound. Or even stands, stands up. <laughs> oh. Very eager with his shots. Oh, 
crowd screaming, Coxie has brought a big following with him. Getting into his main event. I don't think anyone screaming louder than Jimmy Wallard in the corner. Jimmy shouting some instructions there. Coxie fighting out of Team Wallard. Now, Ramos is climbing up, but I think as soon as he lets go of that head control, uh, he's got a nice arm, arm control, Ramos. He's looking for the triangle there, but uh, Cox is keeping his elbow out wide. I can't see him getting that. Oh, did I speak too soon? No, he should have kept yeah. control of the head as well. I think Cox is in sight coming. Yeah, well, he was defending it well. As soon as Ramos let go of the head, he gave him uh, the opportunity to stand up. That's all he was looking for. Dying back in. And very, very over. quick finish. Took his opportunity there. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Good finish from Ian Cox. Strong ground and power finish. And a good show of sportsmanship there. And straight over. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our winner. Let's give it a big finish. Come on. We're really looking to show you, brother. Okay. 